In late 2023, a scientific team from the University of Kansas Medical Center launched 40 female mice to the International Space Station aboard the SpaceX mission CRS-29 in cooperation with NASA. It was the most thorough experiment ever conducted by NASA on how microgravity conditions impact female reproductive biology. Because studying mammalian reproductive biology in space helps us better understand and prepare for challenges and dangers that will be posed to our own human reproductive capacities in off-Earth environments of the future. If we can't safely have babies beyond our home planet, then we'll never be able to truly settle new worlds like Mars. Studying these impacts also helps us better understand and optimize human fertility and reproductive health here on Earth at a time when fertility rates are falling across the world. It was at that point that the research team made a groundbreaking discovery. Their initial findings revealed that while the children of the space-flown mice showed no significant impacts from their mother's spaceflight exposure, the grandchildren mice showed a significantly altered phenotype. This was a result of their genotype, or genetic code, having been exposed to space through their grandmother's gametes. As we travel into space in the future, we can expect that our own genetics are going to see similar impacts and that uh, we, will, we will develop uh, phenotypes as, as those mice did. This suggests that long-term exposure to space environments could significantly impact and possibly even alter our genetic code as humans in the future. Due to space life sciences budget cuts, NASA wouldn't be able to extend the team's grant to continue studying the space mice offspring. With the small remainder of funds currently supporting the mice rapidly running out, the colony faces potential euthanization as the research team won't have the financial means to maintain them meaning that their lives, as well as any data from potential future generations of these exceptionally special mice, could soon be lost forever. I would say that perhaps the most important thing uh, that we can do to secure the future of this research right now, the future of humanity in space, is coming together to save Roden Research 20.